Yeah. Get up on the mic. Since this, uh, the audience is thinking about quitting, uh, what one thing would you guys, if you could go back, not do? Oh, 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 nearly all of it. Right, everything. <laughs> no. uh, th th that's a trick question yeah. because you have to do it all wrong so that you can say, don't do that again. Um, yeah. and it, not, a, not a damn thing. I would do exactly everything. Yeah, I, it, even all the failures because what I learned out of those, like, yeah, exactly. I, it's more like, I, I would say, uh, don't wait so long was yeah. my big mm -hmm. one um, because I'd be, you know, if I'd started three years sooner, I'd be three years further along uh, than I am now. But uh, but you would have missed out on those three years of life experiences. That's true. I mean, yeah. and, and, but it, it's like, um, I wouldn't say one thing I wouldn't do as much as I'd say the thing that was almost the most important that I did was to have savings, which translate that to have a safety net. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, I do not think this is possible with no safety net. If you have a month worth of money and a month worth of stability and you jump off that cliff, uh, expect to be looking for a job in about 30 days. Yeah. Um, I think my small business was completely unprofitable for at least uh, six months, and and by and then you know 20 bucks here and 100 bucks there and 500 bucks another month. Uh, it was over a year before the money was even close to enough to live on, um, and probably another good year before I really felt like I was on my feet again. So. They, they say if you're going to start a business, have two years of living income saved. I only had one. Two would have been great. Yeah. No, I'm, uh, to, to jump back in again, um, for those of you that are familiar with my company, you know that um, we sold a lot of units in the, the year and a half that we've been around. We were established January of 2011. Um, January of 2013, last month, was the first month I pulled a paycheck. Yes! But, <laughs> thank you. Thank you. But the point is, in those two years, First, all the savings went away, then yep. the few stock options I had went away, yep. and then all the credit cards started blinking red. Yep. <laughs> and now, the credit cards are still blinking red, but they're not blinking as much anymore. And I'm they're maroon! Yeah, they're they're we're, maroon. we're starting to move back, but you have to be willing to take everything you have. You're like, ah, stability! In the fire! Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Threw it on the ground! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Seven years before a lot of credit cards got paid. Yeah. And mine aren't. So right. that, that gives you, you know. And we're still borrowing money. Yeah. <laughs> so. a, a big part of my job is travel, and I think I paid for an entire year of travel on credit. And it's not to say that I'm in outrageous debt, but more than I'd like, you know, and that's just part of the gig. But that debt is a big part of it. Like, I, we still have a lot of startup debt that we're working on paying down. And in, as you grow, you find you still need yet more money to do more things. Right. Yeah. And, but 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 the but the question is, are you do you want to be a person that has some start a lot of credit card debt, a lot of startup debt, and all that stuff, but a job that is your job, yes. doing your <laughs> playing with your baby, having your thing. You're working ninety hours a week. You're getting paid pennies, but it's yours. Yes. <laughs> and when you die happy, all of the credit card stuff isn't a problem anymore. Right. Right. <laughs> question what wouldn't you do those of you that are looking into doing service-based stuff like what I was doing um, I would say don't fall for the lure of the one big client to bail out on all your others um, sometime when we're not on the panel so I don't eat up all of our time come ask me about a website called stinkyfishpoker.com um, first of all that sounds amazing yeah, yeah right? it was an online poker website that lured me with checks of twenty thousand dollars every two weeks um, and I bailed on all of my customers to service this one. And then there was this law that got passed back around 2005, 2006. You might recall Will Wheaton talking about yeah. it. Yeah. Um, the investors bailed all of a sudden and I was left with a data center, an office, a uh, data, data connection that was costing us more than our mortgage and all of our other bills combined and it was going on credit card. And my wife tells me a story of having to go back to the credit union to put uh, cash back into our account because she had written a check that wasn't going to clear without putting that money back in. And we're talking like five bucks here. Um, so yeah, even... I think that factors into stability, like yeah, the safety yeah. net, like have a little safety. You know, yeah. if, if that means other clients or lower risk clients or... Yeah, I mean, keep diversified. I mean, this, this plays into everything, yes. Have a business. And, and don't don't abandon it no matter what you 
think the siren song is singing. So anyway. <laughs>